Hello and welcome back to Pokemon Blue. Um, on today's episode, we are going to go to the SSN, and everything that's on its way is going to be destroyed by us. Okay, so first off, I trained up my Pokemon, um, and I caught a Bell Sprout because that's going to be uh, one of my TM horse. Um, it's really handy. I don't want to give Ivysaur cut, so I could give Bellsprout cut, so yeah, that's really good. Um, now there is a little bit of bad news, um, and that is that while training, um, I accidentally fought the trainer that we needed to uh, get new, but 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 there is another way and I'm going to use the another glitch um, I, can, I can show you it's it was really stupid I was almost done with training it was like last Pokemon and you can see here he doesn't react anymore um, so yeah we fought him um, but yeah we can still get Mew it's no problem um, but we need another trainer and this is I think the last trainer we can get uh, the glitch on so yeah uh, let's get going uh, oh, yeah. let's see uh, oh yeah Sparrow is now a Fero uh, at level 20 uh, so that's really good uh, and every everything is like leveled up except for the Bellsprout and Nidorina Nidorina is going going to go uh, as, f as first Pokemon so I stopped leveling her up um, Bellsprout I'm not going to level up because well, it, he's only there for the HMs so let, let's go let's go to this little house here of the police here the people here were robbed it's obvious that Team Rocket is behind this most heinous crime. Even our police force has trouble with the Rockets. Well, maybe... Maybe you should check outside of the house? He's right behind the house. Team Rocket must be trying to dig their way into no good. All these... Prince. Oh, what's this? Hey, stay out! It's not your yard, huh? Me? I'm an innocent bystander. Don't believe me? Nope, I don't believe you. So yeah, we're back. We're back in this time, not three months later. This time, just like a second later. It's the day has passed so yeah we are, we are fighting some matchups some matchups and he also has a drowsy this, this is the first drowsy that I've seen so that's kinda cool I, I like drowsy's design it's um different. I like it. And it looks good in the uh, in the old Game Boy sprite. Um, so, Nidorino grew to level 21. Nice. Okay, I uh, have to return the TM. Blah, 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 blah. Well, we are just going to keep the TM and we are going to go... Uh, we are not going to go back. We are going to go forward. Um, so yeah, here are some more training fields, and this here is the daycare. This one, no daycare. Now we have two choices here, but as you can see, this one is locked because the dude is thirsty. So. We need to go here, uh, through the underground path 
Cerulean City, Vermilion City. And if I'm not mistaken, there's a full restore. So yeah, if you want a quick full restore, just step out and get your full restore right there. This is the first time you can get a full restore. People often lose things in the underground path. Yeah, I know. I know. There was like a full restore right there. Um, so... Yeah, we could catch a meow here. Um, I don't know. Do I want a meow? Might be, might be quite awesome to have a meow in my team. But first off, we are going to fight some trainers, and I'm going to switch off to Butterfree. Yes, I'm listening in to you. I'm like doing that all day, every day. Okay, so he is a Squirtle. This is the first Squirtle I think we can find in the game. thought we had him, but we don't! Okay, so now he's dead. Yeah! Yeah, I showed you up in front of your girlfriend. Excuse me, it's a private conversation. Nope, none anymore! My stupid computer always with the notice, notices, notifications. Yeah, that's, that's the word. That's the word I was looking for. Okay, let's fight Junior Trainer. She sends out a red attack. And it's level 16, so it's quite, quite alright. Um, but I think I'm going to try to catch him out. And I'll, I'll switch my, uh, my Nidorina out for a Meow. Because I like Meowths. Really cool. And they're good looking in this version. And this is the first time you can see a Pikachu. Except for if you play the uh, yellow version. Because you get a Pikachu at the yellow version. Okay, so. But if he is trying to learn Supersonic, we are not going to learn Supersonic to him or her. She hates losing. Okay, now we are going to go to this guy. Oh, this guy is a pain in the butt. But luckily I have a Fero. This guy, he has a Butterfree. And let me tell you, this Butterfree... This Butterfree has sent me Back to Pokemon Center's more time than you could even imagine. This Butterfree has so much luck. But I've got more luck than him this time because I've got a flying type Pokemon with a flying type attack. So let, let's hope. Oh, girl, please don't. Oh, oh. Now you see what he can do, and he will do it all the time. So my Pharaoh survived, but you can see how much damage uh, that Butterfree puts out. It's it's just sick. That Supersonic, I don't know what's the deal with it, but uh, it does tons of damage. Uh, so I'm going to send out Ivysaur for now. I think Ivysaur can take the both on, but I don't know if they have poison Pokemon or not. I don't know what they got. What do you got? You got Pidgey. Okay. Uh, I, I like how the beginning of... Um, the beginning of the... the the Pokemon series, the the first like half until now, 
grass type is really at a disadvantage uh, when it comes to attacks because the things that you uh, see most are flying types or poison types uh, like the Weedle and the Caterpie and Pidgeys that are just roaming around and I keep on missing please please hit one time uh, okay I'm it's it's over this Pidgey's going down I I am not keeping that stupid <sighs> that little irritating Ivysaur. Come on, destroy this Pidgey! Okay, okay. Now he's down. She, or whatever. Um, I'm going to send out Pharaoh. Oh, I was. Oh, well, this was a mistake. This was a mistake. I'll let you die. I'll let you rest in peace, my faithful Firo. No? Oh, you destroyed him. Okay, so I'm going to Butterfree. Now my Pokemon are getting really low. But... I can do a Sleep Powder. Let's, let's do a Sleep Powder if... Yes, we survive. Do a Sleep Powder. Stay asleep. Just, just stay asleep. It's fast asleep. That's what I like to see. That's what I like to see from my Pidgeys. Okay, so confusion, and we took him down. Well, nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to give my last potion to. Ivysaur. Ivysaur, you disappointed me. I'm going with Butterfree. Butterfree is uh, still useful at this stage, so... I, I just hope I don't have to waste the full restore right here, because that would be stupid. It would be better to use that uh, in a gym battle. So this is not a good lineup. This is the worst thing that could happen. Um, that thing is faster, I just know. So I'm going to go with Nidorina. I really didn't know what to expect, but... Um, Going with the poison sting, try to poison him at least. Now we have to wait for the fury attack to be gone. Come on, fury attack. And it's poisoned. Nice. Okay, now I can scratch the knight away. Wow, two hit. That doesn't happen very much. Mostly I get one or, or no two hits. You, you can, can get the lowest number, you can get like two hits. So Mostly I get two hits off, um, maximum three, uh, and if I'm really lucky four or five, but that's like once every 100 turns or something. So I never use that attack. Um, eradicate, so I'm going to switch. Or not switch. I'm going to keep him in, just to give this guy some poison, yes, and what I'm going to do now is, I'm going to do growl, I'm going to growl, because this guy can hurt, this guy can hurt, so we need to get the hurt out of this radicate. We did a decent job, so now I'm going to set out Butterfree. Um, I'm gonna 
beast poison, so I can't use sleep powder on him. Doesn't matter too much. Um, let's see. The his his uh, attack has been lowered quite some. Even if it's, I think it's just one state that's been lowered, but it's enough to keep my butterfree alive. So this this was quite quite battle. Quite battle. So I'm going to the Pokemon Center right now because everything I I know and love is dead. They're all on the brink of death. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is not well. I, I get a rod. Let, let's let's get this old rod. Or yes, it's old rod. Okay, let's let's just get this old rod out of the way. Uh, but what I really want to do is go to the Pokemon fan club, and it's not this house; it's this house. So let's talk to the guy who loves his Rapidash. Yes, listen up. My favorite Pokemon, Rapidash. It's cute, lovely, smart, plus amazing. You think so? Oh yes? It's stunning. Kindly love it. Hug it when sleeping warm and cuddly, spectacular, ravishing. Oops, look at the time. I kept you too long. Thanks for hearing me out. I want you to have this. Make room for this. Well, that's not a good item. I don't have that much items on me. Didn't I? Hmm. Well, I'll, I'll discard. Uh, well, if uh, I thought I had more space than that. Yeah, it does. Okay. No. Yes, collected, blah, 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 yeah, I came to her hear about your Pokemon. Yes, I know they're stunning and lovely and blah, 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 blah. Come on. Ah, oh, this guy. Okay. A bike voucher or fouché or however you want to call it. Okay, so... What shall I do? I think I'm going to go back to get the bike, but I'm going to do that off camera. Because I don't want to let this uh, this thing be boring, so I'll be back right here, right here with a bike. So I'll see you in um, a couple of seconds. Hello and welcome back. Um, yeah, so I got the bike and yeah, it's awesome. So let's try to catch uh, Meowth now. Or just train. And there's Meowth. Uh, this sprite looks really cool. I like this sprite a lot. So yeah, let's see if we can get it. Um, I hope this is 